Hello. Hello, my name's Chris. And I'm Archie. And uh, we're in the beautiful German city of Hamburg. And the reason we've come here is to film lots of trains and modern oh, trains. One. What's that? ICE-1. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Archie just spotted a train in the far distance. <laughs> anyway, that's what this holiday is going to be about. Um, spotting trains, model trains, museums, anything like that. And uh, behind us at the moment is the beautiful Hauptbahnhof. We'll be spending a bit of time in there too, I reckon. Where's this? Hamburg Hauptbahnhof. That's right, the Hauptbahnhof in Hamburg. It's 8.30 in the morning. We're here for rush hour, but we're not going to get on a train, are we? What are we going to do? We're going to watch trains. <laughs> we're going to see some great trains, I hope. Uh, double deckers. Oh, I'm hoping for ICEs later. Yeah. Maybe some foreign trains. What do you reckon? Maybe some freight trains. Yeah, maybe a couple. Actually, everyone else here is rushing off to work. I thought I saw a freight train. Oh no! All passengers at the moment, aren't they? Everyone else is rushing off to work, and we're here having fun looking at trains. Yeah. <laughs> And of course, this 112 is pulling oh, double decker coaches. They're so lucky, aren't they, having yeah. their double decker coaches? It's a Deutsche Bahn class 101, coupling up with some carriages. Sweet. So what's this, Arch? It's a DV146 in Metronom. <laughs> it seems to me that these 146s are used over in Germany for almost everything, pulling passengers and freight. Okay. Now, because I like my ancient German history, I do admire the Hanoverian white horse on the front there. Here we've got a lovely shunter pulling a, a double decker train. It's broken down or something, though, if this is a regular way to perform. I've got a bit of a thing about the shunters myself. Archie's more into your high speed uh, express trains, but look at that power in that little thing. We're not the only crazies here, look, there's other train spotters out. Deutsche Bahn 101 with Czech carriages. 
Chess Kidra. Um, run in conjunction with, uh, or cooperation with, it says, Deutsche Bahn. This guy, I think, is off to Prague now. One of the things I love about um, stations on the continent is you can get trains from here to other countries, which you can't usually do in Britain. So for us, it's quite exotic to see Czech trains or Yesterday, I think we saw an OBB. Hi, OBB. Oh, an Austrian. <laughs> Wonder what that's doing here. Whoa, cars on the back of it. Things I find pretty annoying in uh, in London anyway at the terminus stations we have is that you often don't know what platform your train's going from until it's announced five minutes before the train actually departs and then you've suddenly got to run across the whole station. But here in Germany, I mean admittedly Hamburg isn't a terminus station, but um, if I was getting seen at nine o'clock to Kiel, um, Kiel going from platform 12. It says that on a printed poster, so you know that well, whenever you want really, as soon as you want to look at the poster. Um, we're on platform 12 at the moment. Um, so there we are, we know where to stand, but more than that even, we then get this other little diagram here. Um, which will show us the 9 o'clock IC kill. It's got a little diagram of the train. Uh, this is it here. And it shows us where on the platform we are. So we know then that we're between coaches 4 and 5. So if we've got a ticket in uh, coach 6, we know to move further down the platform that way. And we also know from this in which direction the train is going to be travelling. It's going to be going that way, so we can be facing the right way when we sit down. Very clever. Wish it was possible to do that on the London terminal stations. Right now we just have to wait for the nine o'clock. Except we're not actually going to get on it. Here we go. S bahn pulling into the platform. The S bahn platforms now, and look, oh, they're having a race, they're off together, but there's two different types. The one on the left, I think, is the old type, and the new type is speeding ahead. It's an S bahn race. Who's going to win the S-Bahn race, Arch? I think the newer one. Yeah, I think so. It's a, it has smaller curves. Yeah, that's true. It's going round to the left, yeah. On the inside lane. And B? Is there a B? Yeah. What's the B? Because one's older, which means it might be slower. B? And also... A C? Is this a C now? Yes. Okay. And also, I think the newer one started like a second before the older one. Are you melting into the seat? Yeah. I see you one. ICE 3 off on its merry way to Munich. What have you found, Arch? 
buffers! Woohoo! But why did there be buffers in basically, I don't know, ivy? With no track. Okay, we're looking at the 1304 to Lübeck. Um, I'm just going to have a quick check, see how on time it runs. Cards here to make sure it leaves. Here's a clock. As you can see, it's now 1303. Even 30 seconds if it's going to leave on time, mate. Guards closing the doors. Um, 15 seconds to the minute. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How late is this train going to run? Oh, it ran about two seconds late, that one. Not too bad by British standards. Slightly sloppy by German, though. So what have we got coming in here, Arch? An IC. Oh, really? Yeah. And what's that? Um, it's a commuter train that looks quite a lot like an IC. Like the ICEs where they have the two engines that look alike. It, was that, it actually has a proper Deutsche Bahn engine at the back, bright red. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, okay. That's really sick. All the coaches are the same apart from the engine at the very end. Right. I must say, I'm extremely impressed. How? <laughs> this is your first time in Germany, right? I've been to Germany lots of times, but I haven't done any train spotting here. But how on earth did you know that with what, never having? Was an IC. Yeah, and that there was going to be a red 101 at the back. How? Because I've seen the red 101 at the back before, and I remembered it in my head. And with the IC, it was on the timetable board at one point and then the train appeared and I was thinking it was an ICE but it was actually an IC one of those and that's how I know. <laughs> well spotted! <laughs> okay so what's this? It's a DB101 and it looks like there's another ICE Maybe not because of those red coaches there. I'm not sure. Oh, those are sleeper cars, those are. Oh. Oh. What's this? It's a Danish train. It's got a little Royal Danish crown there. And it's going to Alborg in the north of Denmark. Clearly in different colours from uh, Deutsche Bahn. Not a lot to say it's Danish, apart from this little bit down here with the DK on. DSB. What's DSB? I bet if we look that up, that's uh, Danish trains. Yes, Arch. International trains at Hamburg. Yay! <laughs> well spotted, by the way. You spotted that a mile away, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> I did. Oh Europe, we so envy you with your double-decker trains everywhere. Why don't we have those in England? Is it because our tunnels are too small? Is that what happens? If somebody knows the answer, can they just like put a comment below? Okay, we've got
look at a sign there saying, Bitte nicht einsteigen. Which I think is, please don't uh, board a train. There. I've got a sign saying, Hier nicht aussteigen. Which I think means, don't get off a train. Can't get on or off the trains. What's it all for? I think it's all just for train spotters like that, the young gentleman up there. Or for pigeons, Talba, like this little gentleman here. He's not getting on or off a train.